No word better described George Welsh more than winner. A coach who demanded the game be played right, with discipline, care for detail, and simplicity of execution, as you would expect of a Naval Academy grad. He brought a winning brand of football to Navy, including a 1978 win over BYU in the Holiday Bowl. Only Ken Niamatololo has won more games in Navy's storied football history. Welsh won his first four Army-Navy games by an astounding 138-16. to In service academy play, Welsh's teams were dominant. 6-3 and three overall lifetime against Air Force and a prominent 7-1-1 and one record in the battles with the Black Knights of the Hudson. In all, Welsh won 55 games as the head coach at the Naval Academy and took the mids to three bowl game appearances. Welsh's success as a head coach was further validated when he turned ACC doormat Virginia into a winning program. In 19 years in Charlottesville, Welsh only had two losing seasons and only six overall in 28 years of coaching. George Welsh, who all afternoon came up with the right play when it was needed, comes up with still another as he pitches to Bill Smith, who thunders into the end zone. As a player, he led Navy to the 1955 Sugar Bowl in a day and age where bowl games were few and far between. Welsh led a mistake-free offense and threw a touchdown pass to halfback Jack Weaver to support a defense which allowed just five first downs in a 21-0 victory over Ole Miss for the team named Desire, which lost only two games during the season, a loss to Pittsburgh by two points and a 6-0 loss to Notre Dame. Welsh participated in several college football all-star games as a player and a coach. Coach Welsh died on January the 2nd at the age of 85. Rick Forzano was both an assistant coach and a head coach at Navy. He led the mids to a 1970 win over Army 11-7 and wins over Boston College, Pittsburgh, and Virginia in his Navy tenure. It's nice to win. It's uh, even nicer to win at home, and it's even greater to win in front of the alumni. And we were able to do that against Virginia. His eye for developing coaches was prominent. As head coach of the Detroit Lions, he picked up a win in his 1974 season over eventual NFC champion Minnesota, defeated the 12-2 and Vikings and Bud Grant again in 1975, and had the likes of Joe Bugle, Raymond Berry, Fritz Schirmer, and Jerry Glanville on his staff. In 1976, he launched the NFL career of Bill Belichick, hiring him as a tight ends coach, a move several years later that looked like it was a winning one. Forzano's career also saw him be the head coach at the University of Connecticut and parlay that into jobs in the National Football League with the St. Louis Cardinals and also coaching under the legendary Paul Brown with the Cincinnati Bengals. Coach Forzano died January 9th at age 90. Oh.